Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This week our question comes from Janice Eastwood who says, I heard there was something different with patterns in CS6. Could you tell me what it is? No. No, I'm just kidding. Of course I can. Uh, and this is a really cool thing. I'm really intrigued by this because I get the impression that this is just the start, that what they've done here has given us some initial things to work with and there's going to be more. And the basic idea would be this. Here I've just taken, separated this maple leaf just so I have a pattern. Now let's just go define pattern. So now we have our pattern available. Let's just switch to some other document now and add a new layer. Now normally when you want to apply a pattern there's various ways of doing it and in the past one of the only problems with using the fill command is when you chose your pattern your only real choice was the blend mode and opacity. So in other words you would choose it and it would just apply and there's my pattern that's been repeated uh, over and over again in a very normal kind of a way. So let's undo that. If I instead, this is the new part in CS6, is scripted patterns. And what that means is behind the scenes, some script is running to say, change the way the pattern is applied. So for example, let's just go through them real quick. Brick fill, instead of being just like regular tiles, it's kind of offset them a little bit. Uh, if I go into cross weave, you'll see it changes again some angles. This is my personal favorite just because it's so cool and it's random and you'll see one of the things it does I'm going to do that a couple of times is it doesn't only change the positioning but look how some leaves are actually darker than others so it's actually randomizing not just the position but kind of the color of them so that's pretty cool I like just playing with this one because every so often you get really cool results but let's just take a look the other ones spiral as the name suggests. Now it's hard to see because this pattern is so big, but if it was smaller you would see there was actually a little spiral pattern going on. And if you want the perhaps more unusual of them, it's Symmetry Fill, which again does, let me actually, I'm going to go back here for one second, make this a considerably smaller leaf and also erase this other little part that's annoying me. Okay, so let's just make this a pattern here. I'm just going to select just this part. Define pattern. Okay. All right, so now let's go and choose this other smaller leaf. You can see there that's that the symmetry fill kind of effect. And let's go back one more time and use the spiral one because now you should be able to see a little better what it's doing. Now my impression is that these initial scripts are just the first few and the likelihood is more will become available that will add more capabilities. So pretty interesting change to the area of patterns only in Photoshop CS6. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.